After another washing and film coating, it goes into another copper bath where the stamping matrix starts to build up. The double disc bubbles in its bath until the tiny electrified particles of copper grow into a hard, strong coating and the plating is finished. Now the mother matrix and stamper locked face to face are separated. From the mother, additional stampers will be made so that many finished records may be pressed at one time. Before the stamper is ready to use, it receives a nickel plating and then another coat, this time of hard gleaming chromium to give it resistance enough to last through many pressings. The matrix is washed once more and now with other stampers, it will soon be ready to press the finished records. For still greater strength, the completed matrix is soldered to a rigid backing. For perfect contact with the hot backing, the stamper is heated with flame, protected with a chemically neutral blanket, and pressed evenly into the hot solder. When the gleaming disc is removed from the press, it is ready for the next operation, the centering of the hole around which the finished record will revolve. This delicate mechanism centers the hole with meticulous precision and is checked by magnification. Looking through the magnifier, I saw the rotating grooves of the music itself caught on the record. Carefully, the technician centers the disc and with the lens, he checks again. With the position of the hole accurately determined, he drills it with infinite accuracy on dead center. Now the stamper is given a last washing so no speck of dust can make even the tiniest mark that would create the smallest false sound. On this revolving cleaning machine, I saw the disc receive its final polishing. But before going to the actual pressing of records, I was shown the mixing of the materials that go into the disc you hear at home. Ingredients gathered from the farthest corners of the earth. The materials are processed in one of the largest and most intricate machines I have ever seen, the Banbury Mixer. One ingredient is the finest shellac obtainable, which is brought from India. Another resin ingredient is from the East Indies and, like the shellac, is ground into fine powder before mixing. Eighteen other ingredients gathered from distant places are carefully and accurately weighed in to ensure the most exact proportions to make a correct final mixture. All ingredients are finely ground and put into the mixer to be carefully combined under heat with the powdered shellac, which is sucked into the machine through a vacuum pipe. Now all is ready and the Banbury mixer rolls. Inside this huge machine, three stories tall, the mixture is heated to the melting point, whipped and stirred and beaten until it is thoroughly mixed to a dough-like consistency. The hot mixture falls out on great rollers where it is kneaded 
and rolled into a long, flat sheet. As it comes out of the machine, circular knives cut it into pieces called biscuits, each the right size to make one record. The biscuits, cooled for easy handling, come off the belt in neat little piles, but before they are used for actual pressing, they must be heated again on steam tables. Then I saw a record pressed. First, Steam is shot through the machine, then cold water runs through to cool the record. Two different stampers are used in the machine at the same time to press the two sides of the record simultaneously. The labels are put in before the biscuit, I learned, and actually pressed into the record, not just pasted on. Many presses working at the same time turn out many records together to satisfy the music-hungry thousands. The edge of the record is carefully polished. After this is finished, comes a listening test when the record is actually played for expert ears. examined and found flawless, the records are polished and slipped into envelopes ready for packing and shipment. They are counted, boxed and carried by conveyor belt to the shipping room. From this room, the records go out to all parts of the world to bring joy and pleasure to millions of music lovers, to give them permanently the music they want when they want it. Now the genius of artist and engineer, the work of many hands, have brought the record to its destination. From its tiny grooves, the recorded vibrations of sound will be picked up by the jewel point amplified electrically, and the beautiful blue Danube fulfills its mission in an ideal combination for the home. No matter what it is you want to hear at your command performance, it is recorded for you by the world's greatest artists. <laughs> <laughs>